Greetings YouTube, Kudis here and welcome to a new Let's Play series for your Brondoselis 4 in patch 1.29.5. In this series we shall casually wait for patch 1.30 by casually doing the Burgundian conquests, in which we shall be Burgundy, we shall vassalize, you know, the little France and Austria that are around us. So let's make that happen, as you know, simply and casually as possible. And uh, let's begin. So our goal will be to destroy these two. Also apparently own all of the low countries. So we'll also need to eat that part. But that's okay. That's not a problem. That is not a problem at all. Uh, for now, though, let's see. Before we begin anything else, let's see who has rivals. We have been rivaled by France and by England. So uh, screw both of them. We hate both of them very hard. And we also hate Denmark. I'm gonna hate Denmark, because Denmark can go screw himself. Now, France, you've rivaled me. Who hates you? Only Austria and uh, otherwise we have mutual rivals. That's problematic. Aragon likes me with a heart, so he would be a fine ally for now. If only he wanted. Does he want French? Oh, he wants. He does want French land. Let's make it happen. Aragon, almost natural ally. Okay. And England, we're going to start uh, building a spy network in here. Because we wish to uh, conquer Co. Uh, and Calais. We wish to establish control of the English Channel as much as possible. If we can help it. So we're going to work on that. Um, that said, we also need to consider... But I want to eat Nevers, and I have... What does my mission say? Placate subjects. All subjects have less than 1% liberty desire. That's going to be tricky. Uh, it's not going to be very tricky. I just need to hug them. Belt to force limit. That's standard. Integrate Nevers. That's that's going to happen. And reclaim. Trans... Ooh, interesting. I'll get... If I integrate Nevers, I'll get permanent claims on Savoy. A kingdom divided. Which requires me to own... Like these three provinces, that's fine. And control Liège. That actually explains why Burgundy keeps attacking Austria for it. Interesting. Alright. We have our objectives. We also start with an absolutely garbage hare. But not gonna lie, I had a practice run where I disinherited him from the first day. That made the three guys really unhappy because they're PUs and therefore prestige matters to them. And did not end well, so we're not gonna do that. We are, however, going to extract military points from these guys. We're going to benefit because we start with um, most of our land under the control of estates. It's actually abhorrent. Um, and our merchants are kind of useless. So we're just going to not touch the merchants for a bit. And I'm going to try to remove some of these provinces from the nobles and the clergy. And give them to the poor little merchants who are struggling so hard. I could give them Dijonais. Actually, I'm, uh... Oh, it's my capital! Derp! And I could give them Orexois. That would be worth it for Diplo points. And then we'll work on removing provinces from the other estates. There we go, now they're at 40. And I didn't even need to do anything. Recruit Minister. I won't even grant them a Monopoly Charter, because it won't change the numbers. Uh... So we'll just extract everything we can from them. What's my force limit? Force limit is 21. I already have four horses. And I only have 10,000 manpower. How's my economy? Non-existent. Because I have too many forts. Well, I don't believe in a lot of these forts. So I'm just going to delete them. Um, I hate these forts. Fort in Luxembourg is not... Well, it's more useful than the fair than the fort in Nemur, I guess. I mean, there's a fort in Retirua, so I don't need all these forts. No, screw all these forts. Fix the Burgundian economy. All right, that helped. Franche-Comté, it protects the capital a little, I guess. It's not great. But we'll keep it for now. Too many useless forts, all gone. Fixed the economy. With a fixed economy, what can we do? Protect corruption full power. 
Uh, I can afford now suddenly two mercenaries or a bunch of infantry, but I can't afford the manpower for a bunch of infantry, so we're just gonna recruit two mercenaries. Leave it for that for now. Um, we're not gonna build war force limit. It's not gonna happen. Aragon accepted a military alliance. Hooray! Do I go over my diplo limit? Um, do I go over my diplo limit? I am not sure. Because who else hates France? Austria technically hates France, and he loves me. Now, that's a natural ally if I've ever seen one. If I build enough favors, I can chuck him at France. And that's... That's just amazing. We'll, um... We'll work on Austria from there. Let's see. What else can we do? We have... A diplomat that is bored. Uh, just work on own subject countries for a while. I'll fabricate our claim on England, who is allied to a bunch of Irish miners in Portugal, who I don't care about. Um, we're gonna work on that. I just need France to not ally anything meaningful. He's allied to Scotland, Provence, and Savoy. That is not really useful. This is what kin means. I have family ties with Portugal? Really? How? How do I have family ties with Portugal? I don't understand that. But I'll have royal marriages with both of them. Aragon is a potential PU. Oh, he's excommunicated. That's hilarious. <laughs> and uh, you have Ladislaw Posthumus. Um, which means it's no longer the case. It used to be that Austria could be PU'd from day one. But that's no longer the case. That's fine, though. There are worse things than acquiring a shit on your throne. If I want... If I want Austria as a vassal, or as a subject, peeling him counts. So, you know, keep that option open. In the meantime, though, I forgot to start my timer, so... Uh, let's go with that. We have a timer going. And I have a bunch of... Uh, hopefully my, my record did not pick up all of the uh, plug-in, plug-out of the phone. It did. Anywho, timer set. Let's continue. There's people who are at war with England. Sure, all, all of you, be, be at war with England, gladly. It's a shame that the Pope decided that excommunicating Aragon was the first target of choice. Because normally, Pope excommunicates Provence. Because they hate each other. They hate each other. And then it becomes possible to just... Uh, go ahead and... Uh, get ourselves a sweet Provence for cheap but at this point we're not gonna get that we could get co though we cannot pass um, it is problematic although France is currently sieging uh, Cayenne so I could attack England for co sit on it and wait that is extremely possible that it'll work in my favor it depends where the AI is going it definitely depends. Otherwise, I'll just make my war goal Calais and go from there. Yeah, Co is not happening. That's sad. I would have liked it. I, France just claims me, but I feel safe in my uh, current position because I have uh, Austria and Aragon at my back. My money is not great, but I currently do not need my army, so I should just modball it. That feels like a decent idea. We have a full army on our capital. Things are looking good. We'll get a claim on Calais. And actually, I can just use this time to declare my war. And then, um, if I declare my war now, I can peace out the other guys while... Uh, while the war is happening. I think that works. Because if I do that... Um, I don't want to use Philip I for that. But if I do that, now my vassals should activate. They're not doing anything. I suspect someone will ask access to... Uh, I give military access to France, apparently. Um, 
but France will not give me military access because he hates me and he's my rival. But suddenly he will because I gave military access to enemies. I don't understand that. Oh, you give access to Portugal. Oh, cool. Hey guys, how about we go siege Portugal together? Um, angry nobles are angry. Can I can I take provinces from them? I'm just gonna recruit the general and then fire this provinces from my nobles, which upset them. And then I have a general. Look at that! I can join the trade league owned by Genoa. I do not care. Let's just kill these angry nobles. Then we'll go deal with Portugal. Angry nobles dealt with. Can I? Can I? Hey, Aragon. We are friends, right? There we go. No extra military access uh, needed. Let's go sit on Portugal's capital. I just need to sit on Lisboa. I just want to separate piece him. While England is busy with all of that, and I suspect my low country friends are going to deal with... Uh, uh, I can gain stability. Yes. Certainly. How loyal are my vassals right now? 3, 1, and 5%. That's not a lot. But it's still too much. I need them higher in opinion. So that I can uh, disinherit my hair safely. I also probably need more base prestige. We shall see. Now that I'm also at war with England, there is no chance that England will win this war. It's just not happening. Like, England has, has no hope against France. It's, it's just... Foregone conclusion. Oh, Portugal is losing to, like, a third of the forces? What is wrong with you, Portugal? What is wrong with you, Portugal? Look at that. A bunch of vassals going to siege Portugal. Hey, the Irish miners are destroying all of my... Uh, my Dutch vassals. Oh well, as they say. Come on, guys, what the hell are you doing? Be useful. Uh, Eustache de Branche is uh, doing the siege thing. He's also a hardy warrior, which will help against this uh, attrition, which we're getting from siege, so. Thank you for being a hardy warrior. Now Portugal is getting carpeted just a little by the vassals. I would like for them to team up and deal with that 11 stack, but we'll see. We're currently sieging some Portugal. I will probably not be able to take anything from it. We'll just uh, quarantine all of it. It'll affect the economy negatively, but who cares? Quarantine all of it for safety. Okay, nice. Holland is sieging the other fort. Which means the vassals may just occupy the rest of Portugal. That's what we need. That's what we're after. Never is getting sieged out. Whatever. Whatevers. As we might say. I just want Provence to get excommunicated. Come on, Pope. Remain Papal Controller and excommunicate the crap. Who's the... Wait, that's the wrong one. Remain Pope and excommunicate Provence. You know you want to. You know you want to give me the CB to eat this for free in terms of aggressive expansion. Because I want that. Also, I need to prepare to eat Nevers, because Nevers is useless. Um, okay. What are you guys doing? Which siege will end first? Well, clearly that one. Screw that siege. You guys are sieging Calais very intently. That is fine for now. It gives me time to piece out the Portugal. What is this? Occupied by Castille. What is this war? Navarra and Castille. What are you doing? Aragonese... Why are you attacking Navarra against Castille? Why are you stupid? 
Why, Aragon, why? Don't suicide. I need you to be strong so France doesn't jump me. Oh, crap. Portugal siege from capital. No. I mean, you will say I should have kept the fort on Orex well, but my economy disagrees with your assessment. Look at that fully sieged Portugal. He is so nice. Oh, nice. We now have a positive chance. There's a 7% chance we peace out Lisboa. If I just peace out Portugal, it'd be easier. But if I peace out Portugal, I literally win. That is, that is as far as it goes. Peace out Portugal equals win. And the idea here is that when we siege Calais, we'll have 25% war score. Which will be enough for us to demand more than just Calais. Oh, what is this? England's fleet having struggles against all of the Dutch? Nice. We have taken Lisboa. I'm gonna go save my capital from... Uh... Whoa! <laughs> Venice is unseaging the work of Portugal. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Let's uh, recall this guy for now. Let's talk Portugal. Portugal, how much war score do I have against you? I have 65% war score, and as I suspected, I cannot demand anything from you. So please, stop being allied with England. So this is no longer a problem. Give me, like, a bunch of money. I will accept your generous capitulation. Leave me alone. I don't want anything else from you. If you give me all that money, I'm good. We are at peace with each other, Portugal. I will now go sit comfortably around the... Calais region. Oh, wow. Uh, Scotland having a bad day. So England will lose some, but then win some. That's not bad. I have placated my subjects, which is exciting. Uh, which means that uh, now might be a good time to try disinheriting. Let's click this button. Genoa or Trier wants to rent me Condottieri. I don't want your stinking army. It's garbage. Can't go anywhere. Now... The PUs are extremely unhappy, but it's not so bad. And my prestige is going to go back up as I win this war, because I will win this war handily. I just need France to peace out. Come on, France. Peace out! Peace out of the France war. I'll just go and siege uh, the poor vassal. I have a ton of money. I could build forts right now, but I broke all my forts, so I'm not going to do that. Um... Economy's looking good. Okay, you know, the vessel's on sieging itself. Good job, vassal. I'm so happy for you. Um, I will tell them that uh, I would appreciate claims on this stuff. In case Austria is ever too exhausted to fight or to, to defend his own HRE. And also, since he is my friend right now, it could happen. It could very much. Provence has been excommunicated! Now is the time to strike! You're allied to too many things, though. Holy crap. If I was to attack you for excommunication, I might have to fight too many things. Our consort Isabella has died! I've lost my hair, I've lost the consort, and if I die, I become a Trastamara. Which is not the worst thing that could happen. <laughs> not by a long shot. Okay. Um, I am going to recall this one. <sighs> Damn it. I don't want to support anything. Let's support the philosopher. Screw the clergy. Screw yourself, clergy. Respect philophily. I can now be the first in the world to take up in military and in admin. And I have so much money that I can build a bunch of churches. And they're worth so much money that I will build a bunch of churches. Okay, Provence, let's talk about me declaring war on you. France supports you, Switzerland supports you, Florence supports you. That is just... just that just ain't happening. You remain safe in your convictions. For the time being. But I will find a way to attack you. I will find a moment of weakness. When France will be too busy, I don't know, doing something like dying to me or something. Which reminds me, I should build a spy network in France and prepare for an invasion. Where I get to chuck Austria and Aragon at them. That is the dream. I am also ready for this war to end so I can go sit on Calais now. I want my war goal. 
I want my war goal. Why do I have minus 10? Never net occupied by England. That's the only thing. Thing is, right now, since the war... Oh, I've died. I have become Henry II de Trastamara. Look at that 464. All right. Magnificent. Magnificent. I have dynasty shifted to a source of great power. And Aragon's having a terrible day. Because he's done a stupid. But now I don't care. Oh, now I do not care. For now, I have superior dynastic ties with Iberia. Like Casti, for example. Hey, Casti, we shared a dynasty. We could be the friendlies. You have a weak claim. I could... I could go and pew myself Aragon or what's left of him. Now, that's interesting. That is very interesting. I could dissolve this alliance and then claim throne. How old are you? You're 52. That's not going to happen. Oh, wait. The last jousting tournament. I mean, it's an opportunity. I, lose spl I don't care about splendor. I do like morale of armies, though, so I will take the last jousting tournament. Have the strongest RBs in the land. And, um... I would have liked to be you, Aragon. That is just not going to happen right now. He is going to die. There's going to be a Regency Council. In worst case, it's Alejandra de Prastamara. And we're going to get a very early Iberian wedding. I could try to run interference like that. But I don't think... He, well, the odds that he lives another five years... Not very big. Not very big. Look at how innovative we are. I have an amazing king. Henry II de Trastavara is amazing. I am so happy about that. I wish I could just peace out the Irish miners. Oh, now we have minus 1% war score and England does not want to be in the war. Because he's busy having a war of his own. France is winning by 47%, which is probably not enough for him to make all the demands he wants. But, uh... It is what it is. Now, if I was... I still want to attack this guy. He's gonna remain excommunicated for a bit longer, but, uh... Who knows? Who knows if the opportunity will present itself. Acceptance for Fraticelli. We have Brabantian Pretender Rebels in Antwerp. Why? Why Antwerp specifically? Local merchants outcompeted. Foreigner on the throne. Unsanitary suburbs. Wait, foreigner on the throne? What is that modifier? You are... You are Burgundian. You are Catholic. You are the culture that we were. Maybe it's just either because they're Dutch or maybe it's because they're... Um, um, yeah, it could be, it could be a Dutch thing, or it could be a new thing that was added, controlled by burgers, which will also add some unrest. My estates are, well, my nobles are extremely unhappy, but I hate my nobles, so, you know, screw them. My estates are all unhappy, though, all of them. Um, who needs all of the modifiers they give me, right? Now, the Irish are having fun with the Dutch here, but no one gets to drop on Burgundy. I can fabricate a claim on Rams, so I will do that. Because if I can connect my land through Rams and Troys, that counts as well. Um, that is a nice state, too. Does, uh, oh, you have a claim here. You have Champagne here. I could release Champagne from Retail One and have Reconquest. I don't like that plan enough. I could release Picardy. Get a Reconquest on that. Normandy is a more likely target. It, it depends what France takes. It all hinges ultimately on what France takes from his war with uh, England. England still probably has far too many heavies. He has six heavies. I'm not fighting that. Why, Dutch? Why do you keep fighting those losing naval battles? Um, Tyrone is unhappy with the war. It is... Oh, Paul is occupied. Somehow that happened? 
This gives me a second reason why I need France to uh, end his war. Oh, probably Scotland went to sit on it. That's actually very likely. England and Desmond. If one of them's not light only to England, could be one of them jumps on it. That is possible. Our truce with Brittany has ended. I didn't realize I had a truce with Brittany, but okay. Uh, France has the Gauls to claim Charolais. That is fine. Aragon! You have Maria de Trastamara, and you have a... Uh, yeah, we're seeing an Iberian wedding. It's happening. It's... I should not have accepted this royal marriage at this point. I need to prepare to pivot my alliance into Castille. Because we share a dynasty. It is extremely important. Yeah, let's prepare to... Uh... Aragon claims my throne! Who knows? I don't think he's gonna get it. Uh, let's prepare to pivot our friendship with Castille. Uh, I don't want to lose legitimacy because I already don't have any. So, uh, but I can't lose that in points. Fine. Who needs legitimacy, right? Who needs that stat called legitimacy? I do need stability, though. Hmm. The struggle is real, but I have... Henry II is so good. Such a fantastic king. That is how you start a run. You go from a 5-5-5 five, five, five to a 4-6-4. Four, four. I mean, it's actually a point down, which is ironic. But, uh... Negative stability, I need to fix that. Fine. I'll fix at least the negative stability part of it. Okay, and then I want to claim Troys. England was building a spy network. It doesn't matter. England, just just give France what he wants and let me sit on Calais. Let me have my uh, cake and eat it too. Okay. Now we go back to improving relations with our own subjects. I wish to prepare for the annexation of Nevers. But right now the selector decided that uh, Holland was a good target, so sure, let's go with that. The PUs are now a bit more loyal, as they should be. But prestige is a problem. It's gonna be a problem for a while still. Well, it might not be if we win wars. Um, the end of the War of the Roses, that is unfortunate. I would have liked for... What? How did... What? How's I you're able to sit on England? Are you actually sitting on England right now? Are you actually winning the naval battle? I doubt it. Uh, you're allied to Tommen. You might get called into additional wars. You're allied to Desmond. Allied to Munster, which is this one. Yeah, these two are allied, so it's possible that like you could get called by another war. And I could see you disappear this way. If the Irish decide to go to town on each other, that could happen. I actually kind of hope it does. Come on, France, when does this war start? Because it's been going on for a while. Whoa, France is actually losing battles against England? That's interesting. Oh, probably because Scotland died way too hard. But, uh... And there's probably things that are trying to drop and you probably keep losing naval battles. I could see that be a problem. I believe I have the same problem. From five battles, they're all naval. Yeah, I've lost every single battle. Portugal was pieced out, though. And otherwise, there's been a bunch of naval battles that uh, we've all lost because you guys are idiots. We've somehow lost 13 versus 7. England rules the waves, right? Well, hey, my money just took a nice jump. Probably all my temples just finished. Which, if that's the case, is exciting. Because I want to build more temples. They're worth so much money. There is some unrest here because of a local power vacuum. We got unrest everywhere because our legitimacy is essentially non-existent. Lots of angry Fraticelli. If they spawn, I'll kill them. Not even worried. Burgundian nobles, because my nobles are unhappy. Dutch pretender rebels in Zeeland and Amsterdam. And the Hussite heretics in Ghent. 
We have a lot of angry people everywhere. We have angered people when we became a Trastamara, but that was still one of the best things that could have happened to us. Not necessarily so much for Castillo, though. But, uh... I will try. Uh, I can gain a claim on Liège. Which is not a bad thing. Liège is only allied to Cologne. Um... I want to pivot my alliance onto Castillo. I must prepare for it. Um... Light and Royal married to Brittany, that's fine. The thing too is I suspect you will start hating France once you get a beer and wedding. Is Naples still a PU? Naples is still a PU, okay. Because I could just randomly sweep all of Iberia and Naples and that would be like, game. That would be amazingly strong. That said, I really need this war to end. Come on, France, you started just a little too early for my tastes. You're still losing battles. Somehow still losing battles. Ah, uh, Probably because ships keep trying to fight those ships, and that's a terrible idea. There's no heavies in there. Oh, there are six heavies in there. Never mind. Tyrone has none, but England's boats are there. I don't know why we see Tyrone's flag. This is an English Navy, through and through. The tyrant flag is like camouflage. Uh, money is looking good. Which is where I want it to be. I kind of want to mount ball this fort right now. Because it's not like anyone will ever get to it. Um, Nevers is here. When did you start your war, France? I wish you could tell me. Like... Blockhead of Saint-Ange, okay. Uh, Defender controls Paris, yeah, the war goal is capped. France, you're not getting more war score than this, and I assume England is at low enthusiasm already anyway. My war score went down, because blockade of Landeret and blockade of Zealand. So, because you're blockading all this stuff. Uh, oh, the Irish miners are uh, getting tired. Mine is at low as well. Oh, wait. If the war score went with... Oh, there we go. The vast... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. France did not take Normandy. France did not take Normandy. Te Deum. Yes. That is correct. Te Deum indeed. And now the war score is terrible for us, but that's okay, it's about to switch to a really high and positive number. As I will steal two forts, and literally, my goal in here is going to be to steal some pale, and then go ham on Ireland. And then take some Normandy as well, but I'll see how much I can actually take. Because I will not be getting more than about, maybe, 35 war score. I won't be able to take that much. I don't even need to take Calais right now. I can come back later for Calais. Co, however, Cayenne, however, Cotentin, however. We'll have to see. Let's uh, recall this guy. For now, I just want to see. Just want to have a look see how much it costs. We're talking about 42. We're talking about 52 for peak. I don't think I'll get peak. But, uh,. That is what I'm looking at. Let's send our dude back to a subject. Okay, Kisti, Kisti, Kisti. How do you not have an Iberian wedding yet? You have Maria de Trastamara and Juan de Trastamara. They should get, like, you know, um, inbreeding married. That is ideal. And then you can have your glorious Enrique de Trastamara on your throne. Although, the longer Juan II lives, Longer we can see that. Ooh, I'm very close to royal marriage. I very much want that. Uh, come on, vassals. Siege that faster. War score is going down because we're not sieging fast enough, but England also not dropping on us because he can't. I mean, he could try, but let's not kid ourselves. We rule 
the Normandy Wall. It is ours. All of this beautiful coast belongs to Burgundy. France took Alençon for some reason, which does not even have a Normandy core. That's actually not bad an idea also. I could just take just Co, release Normandy as a vassal, and go for reconquest. Also, I'm gonna prepare for the Nevers annexation, because we're getting very close to it. And I feel like I am wasting my time not improving relations with it, because he is the first one he has to be annexed. He is a waste of a Diplo slot in every possible way. He needs to go. Provence still excommunicated, still I to all his friends. A shame he didn't lose any through the excommunication, sometimes he loses them. Although when he gets excommunicated faster, he also tends to... Um, uh, whatchamacallit, he tends to be unable to make friends in the first place. The fact that now Aragon gets excommunicated first was definitely a problem. You're so... <laughs> if it wasn't for the Iberian wedding event, I would have jumped on this PU potential so fast. I'm so sad right now. Because I know that if I start... Uh, ooh. 233 three, we claim. Eh. Good evening, my good sir. Who needs prestige, right? Come on, vassals, take the war goal, And then we'll let it tick. It is ticking down, but that's okay. It's not gonna be ticking down for much longer. And then if I wait, I'll be able to piece out all of these guys. Just white piece them. And that's the goal. Um, yeah, we are to see Rebel Uprising. We have Fraticellis that are about to spawn. Unfortunately. But we have one stability, which helps a lot. Um, diplomatic insult against France has been lost. Oh, nice. We have the sieges. Tyrone is at low enthusiasm. That's going to actually give us some war score to piece him out. So let's talk to Tyrone. Hey, Tyrone. How about you go away now? Thank you, come again. And I have reached the end of the episode. So for now, I'll thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time where we'll run away with some English mainland. See you guys then.